news time right now for our meteorologist, Pat Pagano, and let's hope his main computer hasn't shut down. Good morning, Pat. No, for a change, I'm I'm doing okay. But now that um, you know, but now that this has happened, you know what I have to do now, right? Once it comes up, I have to reboot it uh, so it so it gets the right log information, right, right? And then I have to go to our production computer. I have to shut that down and reboot it so it joins the network so it can rejoin the computer. Oh nothing, nothing, nothing is ever easy. Nothing is ever easy, but I guess, mm-hmm. I guess it's easier doing this than it was when I was first in radio. When we, I, when we didn't have a computer and, and you can have everything, you know, if, if we didn't have computers, Pat, we wouldn't have this radio station because we wouldn't have the funds to hire everybody that had had to work here. True. You know, when I first got into radio, when I first got into radio, this is no lie. When I first got into radio, I worked uh, full time. Well, my first job was in. And uh, part time in Great Barrington, that was a great little station. But first full time job at where I didn't get fired from was at WKNY in Kingston. We had a program director, a music director, a copywriter, a copywriter, mm-hmm. uh, a, a secretary for the general manager, and a secretary for everybody else. Uh, we had somebody that did the logs individually. And uh, that was just so there were seven people before you even got on the air. And then you had to stay. If you were on the air, you had to have somebody in the building back then. So we had a morning person, a midday person, an afternoon, an evening, an overnight. There's another five plus two people in the news department. Fifteen employees. Fifteen. Yeah, I remember back in the uh, early days of Metro Weather, there was uh, at any one given time, there's at least three of us on shift yeah. at any one given time and of course with computers and everything all of that changed yeah we so. know we now have three and three full-time employees and one part-time employee that's yeah, it see, yeah things change they sure do yeah well anyways they really do but anyhow yeah just like the weather changes and uh it's going to be a mostly sunny warm day today 80 to 85 today partly cloudy low 60s partly sunny it gets more humid tomorrow 80 to 85 Tomorrow night, some showers and thunderstorms, same for Thursday, mid-80s. And then partly sunny, less humid Friday, middle-80s. Right now, looks like the weekend should be okay. Uh, I don't see too much in the way of any wetness over the weekend. Uh, I'm just not confident about how much sun we'll get. So it could wind up with more clouds and sun, but at least uh, a dry weekend. So uh, that will be the story there. What's left of Cristobal? is over Missouri this morning and headed northward toward Wisconsin and then into Canada. No surprises there. The rest of the Atlantic is quiet. And uh, what were you going to ask? I was going to say to you, I I was going to ask you, to me, because of all the shutdown and everything's being canceled, like we have the Dutchess County Fair canceled, the Goshen, everything's canceled uh, through at least July. It doesn't feel like we're in, you know... I mean, you know, you normally you went from a big celebration of Memorial Day and then you got the July 4th celebration, but those fireworks have been put off till October. It just kind of feels like, eh. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and know you, what you mean. You can't, I, I mean, and yeah, it's summer and I appreciate the warmer weather and everything like that, but it just, it's just, you know, there's something missing. There's something missing. I don't know. I can't explain it. Well, Just, we all know it's never going to go back to the way it was. Oh, gosh. We know that. So, and yesterday, I had, my copier is frozen. She said, call, call for uh, service. I called for service. She said, uh, I'll put you on the list. Never heard back. Uh, then um, I'm trying to put on my TV. And uh, I'm not getting a thing as far as cable. I look at the box. The box is completely dead. I unplug it, replug it, nothing. Bring it upstairs to another TV, nothing. So then I called Cablevision. They said, no, nah, yeah, it's probably dead. you got to bring it in. So today that's got to go. Uh, i got to bring it in and, and exchange the box there. So you had problems this morning. I had problems yesterday. And um, for the most part, that is about it. You know, we're hoping to, uh, at the end of this month, uh, to get our friends together who never got to see the movie. 
by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, someone else that's... who probably still has it in his DVD You know, that, uh, the two CDs, the two CDs are out right by my TV, and I saw them again this morning, so I said... I never got them in the TV to watch. I got to do this. I have to watch them. You I should watch them. it. I mean, we've gotten know. so many reviews. In <laughs> fact, you know, four of, uh, four of the people that I met on the cruise last year requested uh, a copy. And I said, I, now, I don't, why these people want to see, you know, like a home movie is beyond me. But um, they, uh, I got responses from all of them. They were just floored. Uh, I guess... People, when they hear, oh, you know, we make a movie, they're thinking, you know, it's okay, it's not going to be up to par, you know. Uh, and then they're pretty shocked when they see uh, how uh, how professional a job we do. So well, we got some real good reviews there. But anyhow, getting back to the story, so I'm only inviting uh, 14 of our friends who didn't get to see the movie. And already I have gotten emails back saying, can we let you know the week before because... We're still not sure or comfortable that we want to be in a circle of, uh, you know, 12, 14 people. So people are still very paranoid. Very, very paranoid about this. Well, if you invite me, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> then you wouldn't have to watch it on your own. Because there's free, and there's also free food. <laughs> oh, oh wait, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen, but we thought we'd try because we figured by the end of the month we're in phase two, yeah. and so are you. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know they're they're uh, you know they're permitting as much as 150 people uh, that could gather. You know, with safe uh, safe distancing and the whole bit uh, for graduations and stuff like that. So you know uh, they're definitely easing us in and giving us the go ahead that things are a, a bit safer. So. You just still have to be cautious, and you can't walk around. You can't go kissing people to say hello and everything like that. You just are shaking hands. You just can't do that yet. You know, you wave to them hello, blah 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 blah. Uh, stay a distance away. Uh, eat, drink, and be merry. You know what happened? You're talking about your TV box going dead. I uh -oh. I, I come home yesterday, and uh, Heidi, who watches my dogs, on my way, she says that. Um, TBS is coming through in, in Spanish. I said, just T just TBS. She goes, yes, just TBS. So I says to myself, well, she actually had to push a button and you know, and, and change the language. So after she leaves, uh, I go to the and then I put on TBS, and sure enough, TBS is in Spanish. So what the hell is this? So I go to other channels, but they're all in English. So I go back to TBS and I check to see if there's any change. In, no, there's not. So I called TBS, and they said, well, it's not on our end. So then I called Comcast. And, yes, Comcast uh, had uh, momentarily uh, put the Spanish version of, of uh, TBS on the regular channel and uh, the regular channel on the, on the uh, Spanish channel. Don't you just love that? That's, uh, you know, and... and just uh, love it, right? But, it's, you know, it reminded me, when I lived in Maine, oh, that horrible nine months that I lived in Maine, um in Augusta, uh, and uh, I learned more French in the nine months I was in Augusta than I learned in the two years in high school, because I used to watch a hockey night in Canada, and oh. I had I remembered just enough from high school to pick up some words. By the end of that winter, when I moved out, I I actually could follow the games and listen to the announcers, and understand what cool. they were saying. What they, what they were saying. So I should try that with the Spanish channels, see, see if I could learn that. <laughs> yeah. Because Spanish is a much more uh, used language. It's an easier around, language, yeah. It, well, it's, all, and it's much more used around the world than French. Oh, yeah. You know? Definitely. But now yeah, they I have these, Spanish, now yeah. these things. You don't even have to do that. Now they have these things you can carry. And let's say you're in France, and so you set it to French. Right. And, 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 and you, speak it, you speak into it, and, and it converts it uh, for them. <laughs> that's how lazy that's how lazy of a society we've got <laughs> isn't that amazing it, it really is and there, there you go again with computers see how it could help you out just incredible it really oh, is oh, when gosh. you think about it but all right, all right. So, 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 anyhow, so, uh, so today's going to be an okay day because we've got uh, wave parades for uh, Sharon Center School at 615 
and in the Lee H. Kellogg School in Falls Village. And tomorrow, you can line up in uh, North Canaan to see the uh, that those graduates leave afterwards. So, so we've got good weather for those. Yeah, there should be no problem. I think you know again, and whatever shower activity we get uh, later this week, I, I at this point right now, I certainly don't think it's anything to speak of. All right, and and you know, I'm uh, I hope they're still listening. We've got a new listener. Uh, Jill Gamble K, I think it's the way you pronounce it. They just they moved to our area. They live in the Milliton area. They're from Northern Ireland, but her husband is the pastor of the Congregational Church just down the road here in Sharon. So I let her know that uh, there's somebody from our area, Marion Morris, who lives uh, lives over in Ireland as well, uh, and uh, and comes back here and visits. So so we have uh, a new listener, Pat. This oh, isn't that nice? Well, I hope they enjoy the weather today well i think if you come from ireland if you have weather like this you really enjoy it i'm not sure yeah, yeah it's always <laughs> misty over there yeah well yeah. i don't know if it's always misty but but i'd like to get there one day uh, my plan is to is to take the uh qe uh two queen elizabeth two uh or the queen mary two over to england and then while in england take the channel and go to france all right and then come back over the channel, and then go up uh, into into the you know to the Isles to uh, to northern to Ireland and stuff like that. That's what I hope to do one day in my life. Well, and then fly yeah, back, fly back to Iceland because it's a shorter flight, and then take a rent a car and drive down from Iceland uh, back to where I'm, where I live. Well, you better get working on it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pat, I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right, Marsha. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. Uh, that is Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast.